All right. I'll do a video of the um, jack. Always carry the jack up the back there. Makes it easy to get to. Okay, so that's the base, the short one just pushes into the base like that, next one up, these two are the same so it doesn't matter, and then the very top one, straight into the top, so that's that, on the strap, got this little bit here, which um, goes around the handbrake. Hold on, the brake. Just wraps around. That holds the brake on. So I'll put the bike on the ground. Whoopsie, had a bit of a mistake there. So the strap, this strap I use isn't cut down. It's got a loop on one end. All I do is I feed the strap back through there. So the strap through the eyelet. loop straight around the pig then throw the strap under the bike or push it under whatever suits you oh, make sure your side stands down if that side's up make it easier when you go back up if it's down on the other side, you've got to lean over and flip your side stand up. Okay, grab your step from underneath the bike. Pull it through. Just got to be careful that it's not going to damage anything under there. You want to make sure it's clear of your um, brake pedal. And what do I tend to do? So I get the um, bag and I'll just roll it up so it goes underneath the seat. But first, I'll get this up. So there's nothing that actually holds them in place apart from the weight itself. So when you're moving it, you just got to kind of hold it together. So your ratchet goes towards the bike and then just try and make sure that there's no twists in the ratchet. Feed that up through the ratchet the way you normally would. That's where I track this under there. Haven't had any dramas with the seat yet. I've got a full tank at the moment too. Went and filled up to show you so I can actually smell fuel coming out at the moment. So you try and get the jack in alignment with that strap and where it's pulling through get it straight underneath there 
and you've got that straight underneath, just start jacking the bike up. Just try and make sure this feeds in nicely. I tend to just go one click at a time. Get a nice feel for it that way. See so it's starting to lift that bike already. Just got to make sure that stays even. And you will get it to a point that's a fair bit of weight up on there and then you can just finish it off which I'm pretty happy to finish it off from there but just to show you it'll keep going if you want what you'll also notice is I've got my foot on the end of it there just to make sure it doesn't flick out all right I'm happy with it there just pick the bike up and just get that out of the way straight over onto the side stand and that's it Dunskis all right don't forget to take the strap off for your brakes and just to show you I do have a full tank of fuel and this is a big GSA well I need my key service and not the top there there you go full full tank of fuel so on top of that I've got a full um bag in there all my drone and everything there's probably a good five kilo or so in there so I left that on the bike obviously now I've got panniers I've got tools my air pump all the tools loaded up into there as well that first aid kit and some straps and that in there so yeah it's a fairly heavy load to pick up as you can imagine anyway that's the jack so i hope you enjoyed that all right thanks for watching